Yo, yo, it's your boy Mitch B on it back with another mother banger, baby. Check out. Oh, listen, baby. Today I'm hitting y'all with a yo, yo, it's your boy Mitch B on it back with another mother banger, baby. Check out. Oh, listen, bro. Today I'm hitting y'all with Lil Zay, man. If y'all don't know who Lil Zay Usama is, he's from Chicago, 63rd, what the band, KGB, you know what I mean? So, yesterday I'm watching the news and I'm seeing three, four people having a standoff with the police. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like they ran away and they're hiding in a building, police trying to get them out. They in a stolen car with guns, woo, woo. I ain't think nothing of it. This morning I wake up. And I'm, damn, it's Lil Zay, and he's real respected out here in Chicago, you know what I mean? Basically, they stole the car, and they was on the E-Way riding, police got on their ass, and they got up out of there. Alright, police, state, he ain't let them go, he chased them downtown, they got in the building and hid in there, alright? So let's see what happened. Lil Zay Osama arrested in Chicago on firearm charges. Oh my, yeah, this one ain't looking too good, y'all. This Hell man was no. riding around like the Taliban. Y'all look at inside his trunk. He ready for whatever. He got the yeah. Draco with the banana. He got the Lizzie with the extendo. He was just on club I was talking about. Nobody got more switches than him. Hey, man, after seeing this right here, I believe you, pimp. He riding around real heavy. Oh, my Lord. Mimo, you better chill. Now, not too long ago, he was just being accused Straight of leaving a firearm inside In a of Uber. Uber. He was actually able to get up out the Uber and go about his business. But I guess the cab driver went to the cops, explained what happened. And the cops came to a studio he was at where the cab dropped him off and arrested him on those charges, man. Apparently, the feds wasn't able to let that one stick to him. I guess the firearm didn't have no DNA. The cab didn't have no camera he footage. He beat that charge, just basically. Up in the air, man. That could be anybody, Joan. How y'all just gonna say this is my sh You know what I'm saying? And he was able to wiggle his way up out of that one. The charges was dropped. But now we got Buddy in Chicago. He got two Dracos. He got about four Glocks, extended clips. Holy, what he was about to go do? Okay, now, is he either he's selling chops or he just went and read up on some chops and somebody snitched on him. Or he probably was just moving hot and the boys tried to pull him over. And he took him on a little take kick, man. But this is crazy. I don't see him getting up out of this one as fast as how he got up out of the last one know. in New York, man. They say it was like, I just did a video on that shit, and in the video, I ain't that advance he got. But that's just the music industry shit. Let's stick to what's going on. Lil Zay Osama got caught riding around with Dracos, Glocks with 30s, all types of shit in the trunk of his car when he came back to Chicago. Now, it's obvious what he came back to Chicago for. And we ain't got to do the hush-hush, keep it on the low type shit. He came back into Chicago to get the motherfucking rollies back. He lost them APs and them presidentials. It's all on Clubhouse about him getting robbed. And he got to even... Lil Zay, I never heard Lil Zay Osama do Clubhouse. Y'all probably did. Just like I ain't know Timo dissed him in that live a year ago. It's all yeah. This shit getting to the point where motherfuckers going with their lick back. And I believe that's what was going on. Just like they tried to say Zoo was getting getting ready to slide when they caught him with all them guns. Them all them motherfucking guns. What you doing, Zay? You feeding the streets? It's just so crazy how this time he get caught after Clubhouse. After he go on Clubhouse and do his little rant and all that good shit. Remember what I told y'all when Truth Teller interviewed me? Y'all ain't see it. Y'all don't remember. It's hip-hop police in Iraq. Y'all think just because it started in New York with the nigga who was on them, the documentaries, I forgot the dude's name. You know how he was the hip-hop police? He was the original hip-hop cop. Drill is bigger than ever. In Chicago. So y'all think it ain't no task force assigned to this shit? Swag De Niro was catching fed cases for having big ass guns in his music videos. Y'all remember that when Swag, he kept going to jail. And so let. If y'all don't know who Swag De Niro is, that's a little JoJo brother. Let it be up to the internet. Swag and ain't like that. He was catching them in them charges because motherfucking 12 was monitoring his, his, his social medias. His three, four niggas in the car and all them guns in the trunk, that was transportation being done. So if you have... All I'm going to say is, bro, these, this nigga, like he said, he was on a hit, bro. He got robbed. They went and stole a car, grabbed a gun. Let's get up. Come on. Let's go get these. You know what I mean? He on a hit. But for what I'm guessing is somebody snitched. Like, oh, he told his man, oh, bro, I'm about to go do this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He called the police. Hey, they in this car. Be on the lookout. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what happened. Hey, hey, this is the footage. Hey, moving on. 
So they ran from the police and went up in the building. That's Tom. That's Tom Ahara. Possibly. Zoom call and this this might be an active. This is gonna be on going on all night. I ain't gonna lie to you. Peacefully. Every SWAT situation I've been at, it has ended peacefully. Nobody got hurt. We pray nobody get hurt in this. Hey man, free that boy Lil Zay, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, man, Mitch be on it.